Hello everyone and welcome back to English Ambition and I am Kakuli and I am here so that you not only learn English, you love English and definitely you get very good marks in your upcoming board examinations. So those of you who have not yet subscribed my channel, please do so and if you find that these lessons that I am doing are really fruitful or they are helping you in your studies or your understanding of the language, Please share them with your friends and like my videos and definitely give your valuable remarks and reviews. And children, today we are doing the most interesting chapter of the syllabus that is Evans Tries an O Level. I'm very excited and I'm very thrilled but at least because uh, once I will be able to tell you that there is no moral in the story, no lesson or you know no philosophies or a message because every time I tell you that children this is the message we have to understand the analysis of the chapter. Now you must be thinking ma'am please give us a break and this is the break the refreshing break that we will get today. This is a beautiful chapter where there is no morals or lessons or messages conveyed. Just enjoy the chapter. Yes, a little difficult. Why difficult? Because, uh, you know, it's a chapter of uh, appearance and reality, uh, deception and reality. Matlab, jo lagta hai, wo hota nahi hai. Jo hota hai, wo samaj bhi nahi aata. But it is very, very interesting chapter. So let's begin Evans tries an O level by Collins Dexter. Okay, now in this chapter we have a prisoner called Evans. Okay, he is the protagonist of the story. Okay, as I told you, he is a prisoner. That means he is in jail right now. His full name is very grand. Indeed, a grand name for a prisoner. His name is James Roderick Evans. Now, he is a person who is very, very good, efficient to break away from prison and run away. He has done that three times. Three times he has escaped from the jail. Okay, so people are very afraid of him. The, all the staff and the members or the prison officers are very, very threatened by him or apprehensive of him. Every time they are on guards, he is going to run so, what does Evans do? He has started taking German classes in the prison only. Means a German teacher started coming to him, to his cell and started teaching him German from 1 September. Okay, now it is the month of March and he has expressed his desire that I have read German I want to sit for an O-level test. So O-level test is a preliminary level, primary level, zero level, basic level test. Okay, so Evans tries an O-level, which is the chapter of the chapter. This means that Evans wants to sit for an O-level examination of German. Okay, now as the story begins, we find that the governor of the prison, Oxford prison, where he was time pe tha, Governor ka kya matlab hai? Jailer. You know the head of the prison. Jail, hum log jailer bolte hai. So the governor has called the examination department and speaks to the secretary saying yehi jab seize jo mene abhi explain kiya that there is a prisoner he has started taking German lesson and all that and he said that he wants to take a test. So we want to organize or conduct the test in the prison. Why? Because they don't want Evans to go somewhere else. Just now I told you he's very many Manipulative, he's very elusive. Elusive matlab jisko pakarna mushkil hota hai. So he runs away every time. So they don't want to take any risk with Evans. They want to conduct the examination in the prison. So the uh, secretary said, Thik hai, achhi baat hai, khair, koi problem nahi hai. Let him take the examination in the prison only. You just tell me one thing. I hope he is not violent person. What is his nature? 
Then the governor says two, three things which have, we have to remember very, very carefully. Okay, so he says that no, he is, a, you know, not at all a violent person. On the contrary, he is very, very talented. He is the star of our Christmas concert. Okay, what does he do? He does some mimicry. He is very good in imitation. Please remember these points that I'm telling you. I will come back to these points. Number two, he also tells that he is a born thief. He is a congenital kleptomaniac. Okay, congenital kleptomaniac means he's a born thief. Means he cannot stop himself from stealing. So he, and the third thing he says that he is not a violent person. That means he is not a criminal in that sense, means he is not a murderer or very violent. On the contrary, he is a star in the Christmas concert, he is a congenital kleptomaniac and he is not a violent person, he is a quite an interesting fellow. Okay, so this information we mil jata hai about Evans. Now, the, it is set then that on such and such date mein examination hoga. Now, let me tell you one more thing over here, which I tell you every day in my every video that please keep your books with you because that will be very, very helpful. I will tell you the page numbers, which lines to mark, questions kaha kaha se aa sakte hai. So please keep your books and the pencil ready whenever you see my videos. Okay, so now we move to page number 72 and 73. Let's see what happens over here. Now, as I told you, Evans was very good at running away from prison. So, the governor had high apprehension. Matlab, usko pura pura shak tha that he is uh, doing this, uh, you know, study or this examination just as an eyewash. Matlab, eyewash, you understand? It was a false hoax. He just wanted to run away from prison. Okay, but still he wanted to give him some opportunity to improve himself. In case, ho sakta hai ki sach mein wo padhai karna chata hai to, they could not stop him also from learning German or taking a test. Okay, but he had, you know, kind of 99% uh, doubt that he was planning, it was a part of his game plan to escape from prison. So the governor was taking all sorts of precautions required to prevent him from breaking away from the prison and running away. Okay, so the governor was very worried and very tensed. In the meantime, we see that just the evening before the examination was scheduled, his German teacher comes and teaches his whatever last few lessons he had to do, takes a test or revises, jo bhi unko karna tha. And after that, he tells him good luck in German. But we see that Evans doesn't know the basic words of German. So here we have ye fir se wahi shak hota hai, jo governor ko bhi tha, sab ko tha, Shayad Evans ye exam aise ek eyewash ke liye kar raha tha. Basically, he wanted to run away. So, the suspense is being built. Now, we come to the day of the examination in the morning. Okay, two prison officers. Very important. We have to remember these two names, children. One is Mr. Jackson and one Stephens come to the room of Evans. Okay, to check कि कहीं पे कुछ सस्पिशियस इंस्ट्रूमेंट या कोई सामान पड़ा तो नहीं हुआ है एंड मोर ओवर दे हैव टू अरेंज द रूम फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन टू बी कंडक्टेड दे हैव टू सेट द टेबल एंड द चेयर्स ओके सो नाउ दे कम एंड इवेंस वाज शेविंग दैट टाइम ओके नाउ दीस टू प्रेजेंट ऑफिसर्स जो मैंने अभी बताया वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट जैक्सन वाज अ सीनियर पुलिस ऑफिसर और अदर आई शुड से प्रेजेंट ऑफिसर एंड स्टीफेंस वाज द जून Near or a newly recruited prison officer. Okay, remember this. I will get back to this thing. Why I am saying this, you will understand. So, so they had a little bit of chit chat with Evans and they checked the room also. As I told you, Evans was shaving. And then the senior officer, that is Jackson, tells the junior one that after he's done with his shaving, take away his razors also because they don't want to keep any, uh, you know, potential weapon or some sharp instrument in the room. So Evans asked, Kiacha, you only had taken away my scissors? He said, yes, I had only taken 
in your pair of scissors and even your nail file according to the instruction of the governor. छोटे छोटे डिटेल्स जो मैं बता रही हूँ ये आप लोगों को याद रखना है ये काम आएगा बाद में ओके सो ऑल दैट इज डन एंड देन आफ्टर द शेविंग एंड एवरीथिंग इज डन जैक्सन टेल्स इवान दैट प्लीज ओपन योर बॉबल हैट Evans was wearing a red and white bobble hat, which he uh, Jackson asked him to remove. Now, what did Evans say? Very important question. Bobble hat के related बहुत सारे questions आ सकते हैं तो हमको याद रखना है. Evans said, No, no, please allow me to wear because this is my lucky charm and today is my exam. So uh, please uh, let me wear my bobble hat. Now Jackson allowed him. He said, "Okay, you uh, keep it weary." Okay, so this is what happened in these two pages. Okay, now let's come to page seventy-four, page seventy-five. As I say, page batati jaungi so that it will be easy for you also to understand that you know keep a track of the chapter. Now there is one uh, small little reference over here on page seventy-four top um, about Shirley Temple. okay jackson calls evans shirley temple why because shirley temple was uh, you know a british actress with beautiful curly hair evans also had beautiful curly hair so jackson just as he you know just to make fun you know he says that okay shirley temple this time you keep wearing the hat next time i will not allow you okay so why evans is called shirley temple because he had beautiful curly hair like shirley temple the actress okay now uh, the you know the focus shifts we see that the invigilator because if evans takes the test in the prison somebody has to come and invigilate him so the examination department has you know arranged for an invigilator he is a priest okay from a church he must be you know associated with examination department and he is conversant in german so he has been deputed he has been uh, you know put in duty for evans's examination so this fellow very important character please mark again on page 74 and that's why i'm telling you the page numbers also uh, his name is reverend stuart macleary he is a priest he is shown to be you know starting his journey from his house wo apne ghar se nikal raha hai kyu examination yahan pe prison mein aane ke liye for the examination so how he looks he is a normal priest he wears the priest lee dresses you know jaise wo ek collar hota hai ye black coat hota hai there is a hat also he is wearing spectacles also and he carries a suitcase what are the things that he carried in the suitcase important hai children question can come he was carrying the envelope obviously the question paper sealed envelope with a question paper he was carrying an authentication card i card bol sakte hain he was carrying a small paper knife maybe to cut the envelope or papers if required he was carrying a bible and he was carrying a church chronicle newspaper related to the church okay so he was carrying all these things in his briefcase and he started his जर्नी ओके सो यहां तक बताया जाता है कि ही स्टार्ट इज जर्नी इन द मेन टाइम वी आर अगेन टोल्ड दैट यू नो एज एम टेलिंग यू साइमल्टेनियसली दो चीजें चल रहा है इधर प्रिजन का सीन दिखाया जा रहा है इधर मैकलेरी स्टार्ट इज जर्नी तो साइमल्टेनियसली टू थिंग्स आर बींग शोन नाउ वी अगेन कम बैक टू द प्रिजन इवेंट्स इज गेटिंग रेडी द रूम इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज एंड सेट एज आई टोल्ड यू दे आर प्रिपेयरिंग द रूम फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन पुटिंग द टेबल एंड द चेयर so that they can sit and take the test in the meantime a very important information we get on page 74 on top first line you can see evans asks jackson that why have you bugged my room ye bugged my room ka kya matlab hai they have put a microphone in the room of evans so that the governor it has been done by the governor only so that the governor can hear the conversation that would go on between evans and Mac Clearly, the invigilator. But Evans could see that he kya tumne ye kya kyu? Why have you bugged my cell? Now, a uh, Jackson says that obviously, who trusts you? You have run away from the prison thrice, so none of us trust you. So obviously, the governor will listen to your conversation. Now, you may think that usko to dikhi gaya tha, but theek hai ab. They could not hide because the prison doesn't have any any furniture. Hamare ghar hota to chalo sofa ke piche ya kahin pe we can. 
high but the prison as we know doesn't have any furniture or any wall hanging where would have they hidden that microphone so evans could see and they knew that evans would be able to see so that was okay so in the meantime they are ready and the invigilator had also reached the prison and the exam was about to begin okay now i'm coming to page 76 and then 77 okay ab in pages mein kya hota hai see as i was constantly telling you that the governor is very very suspicious and he is very very restless okay everything that was happening he was thinking ki uh, aisa koi, you know there should not be any lacuna koi cheez shoot na jaye like you know the there is there should not be any loophole in the plan or in that uh, whatever precautions that they were taking so he was constantly thinking suddenly unko ye laga ki this person macleary should also be frisked for his frisking you know checking airport mein hum log jaate hai to aise frisking hota hai with aise uh, bhi or with metal detector and all so frisking is checking so he suddenly thought that MacLeary has not been frisked this can again be a question why was MacLeary frisked number one because he thought that Evans might have got you know through MacLeary smuggled him something that would help him to escape a chisel or a ladder rope something MacLeary must have might have not must have might have brought for Evans number one number two or unknowingly you know innocently he might be carrying something some weapon or something in you know a sharp or something with which Evans can hold him a hostage like we see in movies as a hostage bana ke, fir wo bhaag jate. so he thought that these two things came in his mind and suddenly he called Jackson Jackson the senior prison officer jo alag -alag wings mein the governor was in a different you know kind of a wing they were in a different so he called he said Jackson you get MacLeary out and you frisk him okay now MacLeary was frisked very important again very important children what uh, did we get or what did they find from MacLeary when MacLeary was frisked and what was the most suspicious thing that they found in MacLeary's suitcase or briefcase number one they found a uh, an extra pair of spectacles Ek to wo pehna hua tha. Dusra uske pocket mein tha. they said what is this he said my reading glasses my reading glasses okay maybe he requires two one is you know myopia for the distant vision one is for reading so he said my reading glasses they accepted they said ha ho sakta hai ye to they did not say anything one more thing uh, MacLeary had a very prominent Scottish accent. He spoke English in a broad Scottish accent. Again, I will refer to it later on. Okay, so now the second thing that they found suspicious. Baki to sare cheeze mil gaya. Jojo uski briefcase mein tha, as I told you, the Bible and the question paper and wo sab to tha hi. Other than that, there was one thing which was highly weird and suspicious what was it a semi inflated rubber tube just say when we go for swimming and we don't know swimming we just you know kind of go into it and we keep on floating <laughs> so wo jo rubber tube hota hai waisa ek chota sa rubber tube jo taki wo fit bhi aana chahiye na suitcase mein so a, a semi inflated small rubber tube to fit a small thin boy was there so they were very you know kind of uh, shocked uh, surprised they said what is this are you planning to go for a swimming so uh, that was a little essay mazak mazak mein. He became a little serious. His hitherto pleasant uh, disposition or demeanor was ruffled by this unpleasant little uh, pleasantry. Okay, this is indecent pleasantry. What was it? Why was he irritated a little bit? He said uh, that no, I'm not going for swimming, but I have hemorrhoids. Now, what is hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids is piles. Okay, so he said that I have hemorrhoids and because of that, it is not convenient or comfortable for me to sit for long hours. So maybe that tube he has brought to you, give him a cushion, he will put it on the chair and sit on it so that it doesn't pain or hurt him. 
so now uh, they were a little embarrassed they said okay okay you take but if you remember uske suitcase mein ek uh, paper knife tha so they confiscated the paper knife baki rest he carried inside the prison and then the examination almost uh, was about to begin one thing we have to remember over here the examination was supposed to begin at 9:15 Okay, remember this. Because of this frisking of MacLeary, it shifted to nine twenty-five. Why was it delayed? Hua? Ye MacLeary ke jo frisking hua for that reason. Okay. Now, as the examination was about to begin, page seventy-seven. Ke niche dekho, there are two uh, numbers given. Center number two seven one and index number three one three. We have to remember this. Nobody will ask you what was the center number, what was the index number. वैसे नहीं. But ये जो number के जो reference है, we have to remember that कि ऐसे कुछ numbers पहले use हुआ था. I will come back. I'm telling you ना, this is a very interesting story, and this is basically a, a mild thriller, you can say, like you know how Evans tries to escape and whether he can escape or not. Let we have to see. Basically, it's a battle of wits. Okay, let's see. So now the exam was about to begin, but uh, Stephens was posted inside the prison to keep a check on these two, on Evans and MacLeary. But Evans uh, said that, "Oh God, you will stand on my head like this and breathe on my neck. How will I write? I don't want you to be here." So he was a little, you know, uh, uncomfortable with Stephen standing inside the prison. Now the governor heard this microphone. Say, unko har chee sunai de raha tha. Yahan pe jo bhi conversation ho raha tha. so he heard then he thought that maybe i am over doing the things i am being over protective so he uh, called jackson and he said theek hai you remove stephens from inside the prison and post him outside the prison okay so ye ek kaam unhone kiya and later on we'll realize ki this is a wrong thing that he did jaise ki number 1 that bobble hat allowing him to wear the bobble hat was a wrong wrong gesture by jackson similarly this is a wrong gesture by the governor okay now the examination started now on the same page page 78 if you see at 9:40 the examination board rang means the telephone over there rang okay means of the prison from the examination board there was a phone call at 9:40 you know you can mark over there this is the first phone call okay the phone call came and uh, somebody from the examination department asked the governor that uh, has the examination started he said yes the examination has started quarter of an hour before that means 15 minutes before because it is 9:40 25 pe start hua tha so he said ha 15 minutes uh, before it has started number 2 what did it say it said that there is an error a mistake in the question paper so we have to convey it to them okay so that uh, there was a correction slip or some correction that had to be made so they uh, wanted the governor to connect their call to evans or evans ko directly nahi bhi do to invigilator ko or ya to us wing mein so the governor connected it but As I told you, उस दिन जो भी हो रहा था the governor was very apprehensive. He was thinking, maybe this is a plan of Evans. Is this a signal to Evans? Is this a part of his plan? So he was very afraid. So what did he do? This can be an important question. What did the governor do after the first phone call? He called the examination department. He tried to call the examination department to cross check, but the phone was coming engaged. He thought हाँ इंगेज ही होना चाहिए वहीं से तो कॉल आया है मेरे यहाँ तो ऑब्वियसली उनका फोन तो इंगेज ही जाएगा सो ही कुड नॉट क्रॉस वेरीफाई कि सच में एग्जामिनेशन डिपार्टमेंट में कोई कॉल है या कोई करेक्शन है कि नहीं ही ट्राइड बट ही कुड नॉट कनेक्ट ही कुड नॉट क्रॉस वेरीफाई ओके नाउ ही कुड हियर दैट सम करेक्शन वॉज बींग डिक्टेटेड बाय मैकलेरी टू Evans, okay. What was he saying? He said that in the paper it will not be uh, golden and it should read golden in. And so, वो कुछ कुछ read कर रहा था. Zoom golden in eleven and not zoom golden eleven. So he was saying that ये ऐसा होगा. इसमें थोड़े थोड़े mistakes हैं. Okay, and the governor could hear that through his microphone. Now the governor could understand also little bit. 
कैसे बिकॉज द गवर्नर हैड स्टडीड जर्मन वेन ही वॉज इन हिज ग्रेड सिक्स ओके सो ही हैड स्टडीड जर्मन लॉन्ग लॉन्ग बैक बट उनको थोड़ा थोड़ा जर्मन अभी भी पता था याद था ही कुड अंडरस्टैंड और रीड ऑल्सो लिटल बिट ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट टू वर नाउ ऑन दैट पेज सेवेंटी नाइन इफ वी सी Jackson, uh, sorry, Stephens was posted outside the prison uh, door to keep an eye on these two. अब वो क्या कर रहा था वो कुछ देर बाद बाद देख रहा था पीपोल से ऐसे करके अंदर की क्या चल रहा है ना आगे दैन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वेन एवर स्टीफेंस लुकड इन साइड द प्रिजन गेट ही सॉ टू थिंग्स What did you see? There is a little train noise. I hope it doesn't bother us a lot. I'm not discontinuing the video. So whenever he saw inside, he saw two things. Number one, he saw Evans was sitting, and he has a pen, and he was just putting it in his lips, and he was staring directly towards the door. वो कुछ भी नहीं कर रहा था. वो लिख भी नहीं रहा था. कुछ और नहीं कर रहा था. वो pen को ऐसे पकड़ के door के तरफ, मतलब Stephens के तरफ ही देख रहा था. Number one. number 2 he saw that uh, mcleary in this invigilator he was also sitting thoda sa unka side profile dikh raha tha usko he was reading a newspaper but very interesting with his uh, right hand index finger this is our index finger he was holding the priestly collar like he was a priest as we know so priest jo collar hota hai jo church ke log pehnte hain priest and all so he was wearing that so he was holding the collar like this constantly na aise koi kon baithta hai aise apna collar pakad ke ya dress pakad ke to whatever whatever unknown reason he was holding like this and sitting whenever he saw so these are the two observations we have to remember this ho gaya now after some time we see this is the next page 80 that again when stephens looked after some time stephen saw that evans has wrapped himself in a blanket he thought first of all thoda sa usko ajeeb laga ki kyun why has he wrapped himself in a blanket wo koi plan to nahi kar raha tha pata chale wo blanket ko aise uh, magleri ke upar dal ke he will suffocate magleri and hold him a hostage then he thought nahi nahi it is becoming too dramatic you know and too filmy so he did not consider that he thought that ki maybe it is a normal uh, reason thoda sa usko thand lag raha hoga this part of the prison is a little cold and damp it doesn't have the direct sunlight so he was feeling cold so maybe he has wrapped himself in a blanket a major mistake made by stephens that he did not point this out to anybody he was told by jackson to report any such you know suspicious things that he notices but he forgot forgot i should say he you know kind of was a little uh, negligent in his part he did not report it to jackson he allowed him to be wrapped in his blanket and sit and do his examination okay now this is also very very important now uh, something happens uh, which um, that you have to underline well this is on page 79 but okay which i'm telling you now in page 79 uh, there was a second phone call okay a second phone call uh this is the phone rang again if you want to write you can write though i am everything is putting on the screen but still you have to better to write on your books second phone call came where the governor got a phone call from the magistrates court okay saying that some prisoner must have been convicted so they wanted a prison van and two prison officers again the government uh, sorry the governor was a little uh you know suspicious or troubled he thought ye bhi koi events ka plan to nahi hai but then he controlled himself he said aisa thodi hai ki aaj jo bhi kuch hoga wo events ki plan ke hi liye hoga to he did not encourage his thought he did not cross uh, check thinking that he was overdoing everything he was being too dramatic and he sent the um, uh, prison van and the prison officers and he does not cross check the second phone call theek hai ye bhi ek uh, very important question also this can be 
now as the exam was going on it was you know as i told you it was a two hour exam at 11:20 uh, macleary told evans ki jaise hum log bolte hain na invigilation ke time ki children uh, five minutes are left tie your papers arrange your sheets so usne bhi aisa bola ki panch minute baki hai to you finish your paper waise to wo kuch likh to nahi raha tha whatever it is now at 11:22 very important children i am putting all the dates on the screen please mark please remember at 11:22 a phone call uh, came to the wing where the exam was going on for stephens and stephens was called by jackson that the governor wants to speak to you stephens was a newly recruited officer maine pehle hi bataya tha ki yaad rakhna hai so stephens was very afraid ki why the governor is calling me governor is the head of the prison aur wo ek naya naya recruited banda tha to he was a little afraid but theek hai he went and he took the phone and the governor supposedly the governor told him in a rapidly spoken words like bahut jaldi jaldi mein ki you the exam is about to come to an end because it was uh, 11:22 so 11:25 mein khatam ho jayega so you will escort macleary to the main gate and you will ensure that the that evans is properly locked in his room now this man stephens was very happy very excited that the governor has given him the duty directly he had called him did not convey the message through jackson so he was very happy and very excited and by the time he came came back taking the phone call <coughs> excuse me as we can understand the exam was over because 22 se 25 ho gaya tha usko jaane aane mein phone receive karne mein and the exam was over so as instructed by the governor he took macleary to the main gate and he obviously locked evans inside and he took macleary to the main gate again very important question of two marks what were his observations when he was uh, dropping macleary to the main gate or escorting macleary to the main gate he observed two things again he did not report it to anybody though he observed but he kept quiet about that what was it number one he thought that the way macleary was talking jaane ke time his uh you know scottish accent was more prominent i told you he had a scottish accent but when he was going it was very very prominent more uh, prominent than it was when he came number one number two as i laga that the coat that he was wearing was drooping like suddenly when we become thin na ye shoulders se droop hota hai aur wo zyada niche tak kaise hang hota hai to aisa ho raha tha aisa lag raha tha ki he has become thin obviously it was not possible in 2 hours he could not have become thin so he observed these two things but surprisingly shockingly he does not report this to jackson or stop him kuch bhi nahi karta wo usko jaane deta hai okay now what happens after that uske man mein kuch hota hai he comes back to the prison ek bar aur final check karne ke liye ki evans theek thak hai na andar so he comes back and he again peers through that peep hole inside the prison and to his you know utter dismay he was aghast to see what that somebody was sitting on the chair okay and he was bleeding and he was draped in a blanket ek second ke liye to usko laga ki evans hi hai kyunki wo blanket mein tha fir jab usne acche se dekha ki are ye to macleary hai so he saw that macleary is sitting on the chair sprawling means he was injured aise phaila ke thoda sa he was sitting and he was bleeding from his head and the blanket was gradually dropping so he saw his macleary wearing the priest ka jo bhi dress as i'm repeatedly telling the black coat and white front and all and he was injured now so abhi isse humko kya samajh mein aaya they opened the gate they went inside there was a hue and cry in the prison there was a complete pandemonium in the prison they called each other the siren started wailing and they all came running into the prison and it was macleary sitting in the chair and he was injured he was bleeding profusely so humko ye samajh mein aaya ki the man who went out as macleary was evans and this is macleary evans had injured him and escaped him disguised dressed like him okay 
However, let me remind you once more, as I told you earlier, this is our story of appearance and reality. Jo lagta hai, wo nahi hota hai. So let us see how the things change later on. This story has lots of twists and turns. That's why I'm telling you, don't miss any part of the video. Otherwise, you will not be able to comprehend it later. So we understand here that the one who went as uh, MacLeary was uh, Evans and the one who is inside is MacLeary who has been injured by Evans. Now what happens? They call for an ambulance. They want to call for an ambulance. But this man in MacLeary who is bleeding profusely, he said, no, 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 don't call for ambulance. I know where Evans has gone. Call the police, call the governor and I will tell you where Evans has gone. Don't call for the ambulance. This is something strange. A man who is so much injured doesn't want to go to the, uh, the hospital. Let's see what happens. Now the governor also comes and as the governor comes, he gives the governor the question paper that Evans had to take for German examination. Okay. And what was there in the question paper? Now the governor understood. What was it? Suppose this is a question paper. Okay, and the last page of the question paper was actually blank. Question nahi pe khatam ho gaya hoga, toh ye blank tha. But somebody has pasted very neatly, you know, another page in which a lot of instructions were given to events in German language. Abhi jab in logo ne usko bohat achche se dekha, they understood, hey, this is an extra sheet that has been pasted. And what were the things that were written on that sheet? As I told you, the governor knew a little bit of uh, German. So he started reading in German and tried to translate into English. Okay, so page 83 we are in. And what were the things that were written on there? First of all, it was written that you must follow the plan that has been told. Three minutes before the exam, the examination. Three minutes before the end means when the phone came, if you remember, Stephens was removed from that prison to attend the phone call given by the governor, apparently by the governor. The governor was not in the house. Number two, it was told that don't hit the priest so hard. Minister here means priest okay so don't hit him hard as now ki he dies only so uh, and then number three very important instruction was given don't overdo the scottish accent we remember that time it was told that when uh, stephens was seeing him off his scottish accent was very prominent so it was told ki don't try you know when we try to imitate somebody wo kuch zyada exaggerate ho jata hai. so don't exaggerate the Scottish accent but that Evans had done it. So now in the meantime as they were reading a police van came because MacLeary was saying that call the police I will not go to the hospital. So in the place of an ambulance a police van was called and he hurriedly uh, you know uh, clambered into it and he went off. Kaha pe? He said that he knew where Evans has gone. Everything was mentioned in the question paper. He said, I will help the police to catch hold of Evans. Okay, so let me go with the police. I will give him the direction uh, to, you know, find the whereabout of Evans. Because I have read the question paper. Sara padh liya. Okay, he didn't take the question paper with him. He let it uh, be there with the governor. Hmm. Now, as he went off, Governor was reading the question paper even better. Wo pura padne lage. Aur wahan pe ek jaga ka naam tha. That was Neo Grabin. You know, pura direction diya wa tha. Then first you go to Ellsfield Way. From there you go to Headington Roundabout. Then you go to Neo Grabin. Ab Neo Grabin, the governor thought, aise naam se to koi jaga nahi hai. Now governor is also, you know, a part of the police department. He also had a lot of brains, you know. So he tried to decode that. Neo to new, Grabin to grave and grave to bury. That means Neo Grabin actually is the coded word for new bury. The governor was very happy. He realized that Evans must have gone to new bury. 
okay so he called the police inspector who's you know it was area and he told his name is inspector bell and he told him the entire thing and he sent jackson and uh, stephens to him to help him to find out evans who he was sure from the question paper has escaped to newbury in the meantime bhejne se pehle he was very angry with jackson and stephens obviously because they were responsible to take care of evans or in spite of everything evans escaped and he was very angry and he told that which one of you to took uh, evans dressed as maclady to the main gate aur tumko samajh mein bhi nahi aaya ki wo evans tha he was very angry and poor stephens वैसे तो ये newly recruited tha to wo bechara he stammered he was very very afraid he was trembling in fear almost he said sir i only did you only made gave me a phone call he said i gave you a phone call you moron you do not even understand that it was a false phone call i never called you so yahan pe hum log ko ye samajh mein aa raha hai that 1122 pe jo phone call aaya tha wahi main bol rahi thi ki supposedly from the governor wo ek fake phone call tha jo evans ne kisi se karwaya tha and it was not made by the governor so why was it done so that stephens can be removed from that prison in the last 3 4 minutes jab when he was doing that you know जो भी कर रहा था उस चीज में मैं बाद में कर बताऊंगी अभी बिकॉज दिस इज लॉन्ग वे टू गो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू बी एक्सप्लेन ओवर हियर ओके सो टिल नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड now after this what happened uh, detective inspector kata who is detective inspector kata jiske sath macleary injured macleary jo police van mein gaya tha uska jo police man tha his name is inspector kata now he calls he said that elsfield way mein to evans uh, mila hi nahi tha ek bar dikha but phir wo bhag gaya we could not catch him he said don't worry i know he has gone to newbury so i have made arrangements then he said what did you do with macleary he was injured he was bleeding very badly he said yeah yeah i have arranged for an ambulance the ambulance from the radcliffe hospital would pick him and take him to the hospital now what did he do the governor called the radcliffe hospital he said that where is uh, how is mr macleary or reverend macleary this is not me to koi admit hua hi nahi hai wo jo humne ambulance bheje the nobody was there we sent the ambulance and nobody was there he had disappeared now again he was shocked every 5 minutes there is a change and a twist in the tale what to do now he sent two men to the house of macleary ki wo kahan gayab ho gaya wo kaise hai wo aise injured tha bleeding ho raha tha so they sent him ten sent to people in the house of macleary now something very interesting happens and that story changes when they go to the house of macleary listen very carefully they found that original stuart macleary was lying over there tied and gagged gagged matlab muh bhi bandha hua tha his mouth was tied his hands were tied and he was lying over there since morning then who came inside the prison as uh, dressed as macleary he said that in the morning when he was about to start his journey two men came they overpowered him they tied him they gagged him they took all the necessary you know that suitcase briefcase question paper priest ke jo bhi kapde hote hain collar hota hai coat hota hai sab le liya and they kept him in that room tied and gagged and they went away अब हमको बहुत कुछ समझ में आएगा जो मैं धीरे धीरे बताऊंगी बट नाउ वन थिंग यू अंडरस्टैंड एट लीस्ट ओवर हियर दैट इज वॉट दैट इज द मैकलेरी हु केम टू द प्रिजन वॉज नॉट ओरिजिनल मैकलेरी ही वॉज इवेंसिस फ्रेंड ओके एंड दे ऑल्सो अंडरस्टूड दैट द वन हु वेंट एज मैकलेरी जो गया था स्टीफेंस ने जिसको छोड़ के आया था वो वही था जो आया था तो इवेंस कौन था फिर वेर विच वॉज इवेंस अब तक हमको ये लग रहा था कि इवेंस ड्रेस एज मैकलेरी एंड लेफ्ट नो दैट वॉज द फेक मैकलेरी फेक मैकलेरी केम ही ओनली वेंट द वन हु वॉज इंजर्ड हु वॉज यू नो शोइंग द क्वेश्चन पेपर ड्रेस एज मैकलेरी दैट वॉज इवेंस 
ओके नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस कि व्हाई नोबडी कुड अंडरस्टैंड ही वाज इवेंट्स नाउ चिल्ड्रन आई हैव मेड अनदर वीडियो because in this video i'm just telling you the story and in the next video i will demystify because jaise is chapter ko hum log padhenge lot of questions will come in our mind ye kaise hua wo kyu nahi hua so ye sab for you know like clarifying your doubts and clearing the questions that are hovering in your mind i have done another video so after this video you have to watch the part 2 which is essential otherwise you will not understand uh, anything of this chapter this is the story and that is the complete you know kind of thrashing out of the entire story the demystification you can say and i have also discussed the question so after seeing this video you see that video then everything will become more clear now just you listen to the story line in this chapter in this video of rather i should say so then now we understand that the one who left was fake macleary the one who was in the prison dressed as macleary was actually evans okay now the you know the the focus shifts Ivan says now free he has escaped so Ivan was there he had you know escaped from prison वो जो एम्बुलेंस के लिए उसको लेने आया था वो तो गया नहीं था वो भाग गया एंड हिज फ्रेंड्स हैड मेड अरेंजमेंट्स कि कहाँ जाना था कैसे जाना था सो ही हैड एस्केप्ड एंड ही हैड पुट अप इन अ होटल कॉल्ड गोल्डन लायन ओके देर इन द होटल ही वाज वेरी हैप्पी बिकॉज ही वाज फ्री दो ही हैड टू कट हिज हेयर एंड ऑल वो मैं बाद में बताती हूँ बट ही वॉज फ्री सो ही वॉज वेरी वेरी हैप्पी सो ही वॉज यू नो हैव सम फूड ऑल्सो ही केम बैक टू द होटेल एंड एज ही एंटर्ड हिज रूम ही वॉज अगेन अ घास्ट वाई एज ही एंटर्ड द रूम ही सो ऑन द बेड ऑफ हिज होटेल रूम द गवर्नर वॉज सिटिंग ही थॉट दैट ही हैज स्किप्ड but somehow how i will tell you the governor got to know or understood the name of the hotel golden lion where he had escaped and he was staying and the governor was waiting over there to arrest him again now over here we have certain conversations the governor he you know is very happy because he's very satisfied with his own you know the powers and you can say understanding and intelligence and evans was very very upset that all his plans uh, you know was foiled by the governor and however gradually he you know became a little confident and he they started speaking what they spoke as i told you i will do in the second video now after that they got ready the governor uh, got up and he said that uh, don't try to run away because there are a lot of police though there were only two but he said to scare him ki bahut sare hain so he took him and uh, there as they were going there the prison van was waiting and two prison officers were there one was the driver the other came down and he took evans and evans along with the governor governor boarded the uh, sorry not with the governor evans with the prison officer boarded the prison van the governor was going in another one of his cars or whatever vehicle and as evans boarded now till now we feel poor evans he has been recaptured by the governor the governor is very intelligent the governor himself also was very very happy and satisfied so as evans boarded that prison van and it started to move the prison officer who was with evans gradually opened it handcuff and freed him and he told the driver that hey drive fast don't be slow because they will find out very soon and the driver in his broad scottish accent said where do you think we should go and evans said why not newbury let's go to newbury because they will not be suspicious of newbury so let's go to newbury so what does it mean evans had escaped again okay he has fooled the governor he has fooled the entire prison department or the prison officers whatever you say and he had escaped again i know lot of questions are hovering in your mind how did he escape ye prison officers kahan se aa gaya ye van uh, kaise aa gaye how come he could escape again how come the governor came over here 
what was the significance of the first phone call that I told you to underline, the second phone call I told you to underline, lot of lot of questions are hovering in your mind. That is the reason I have done the part two of this video. Definitely watch it. It has been beautifully done with pictorial graphic depiction flowchart so that after doing this story if you look at that video everything will be crystal clear in your mind i will definitely discuss the questions also as i always do in the second video otherwise this video will become very long okay so do watch both the videos simultaneously and this chapter is one of the best chapters so i hope you are enjoying when we used to the, see the second chapter then you will enjoy i say you have enjoyed so thank you for watching and don't forget to see the second video thank you